Well, hello there, fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. So today's video, we're going to go over the Father's Day Fishing Derby. Um, with this derby, they're going to give away a trip to South Korea to meet the uh, Real VR Fishing team. So that's going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be a trip for two. Um, they're going to include airfare and lodging. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's going to be held during Father's Day so uh, and the day after. So if you're like me and you're going to be traveling on Father's Day or doing other things, you might not be able to participate, or maybe if you're in a different country, the time just doesn't work out for you, you're not going to be able to participate. But just know that they're going to be doing contests like this and new things like this in the future. So just hang in there and, uh, you know, they'll they'll do this again someday, <laughs> one of these days. This is the second one that they've done in two months. So I think they're going to continue to do this over and over and over and try to make it better and better and better. So uh, let's go ahead and go through the Facebook um post that uh, Dustin Jang posted out there. We'd like to share the details of our Father's Day Fishing Derby and how you can participate. We have some incredible rewards and trust they are incredible. Um, so yep, so the part one is similar to the Barracuda event that they ran last time, just this last month where you had to catch the Barracuda and you had to have the biggest Barracuda. You had to post it on the Facebook page or on the Discord. And then I think what they do is they have a you know, they have a server in the background that's running and, and checking everything. So when you post your your picture out on the Facebook page, they just compare it. You know, they, they already know that you have the biggest one. They're just looking to see that you participated. So they go out and they look for the person that participated. And then, you know, during that time, that time that uh, they had the contest going on, if you had posted in that time frame, then you win um, whatever prizes they have. Um, and this one is going to be a pretty cool prize. Um, so this is the schedule that they're going to have. Uh, go ahead and check your time zones there. See what that time is for you. You know, I'm not going to go through and go through all the different time zones, but there it is. Take a look. That's the different times that they're going to be having it. And then we're going to go down here to the prizes. And the results will be held one day after the derby ending. And first place is a trophy. So you're going to have a, a physical trophy, um, first place to 100th, you're going to have an in-game gold t-shirt, 101st to 200th, you're going to have a silver t-shirt, and 200th, plus you're going to have a bronze t-shirt. So it looks like just for participating, you'll get a bronze t-shirt. So part two, that's going to be the posting of your selfies with your uh, multiplayer friends and stuff like that is going to get you this two round trip airplane tickets and hotel accommodations to South Korea with a visit to the Devs United Games office. Uh, our top reward will be awarded to the person with the highest score only. Make sure you participate to have a chance to win this amazing prize. And here are the rules. The ranking is determined by the max length. If there is a tie, upload time of the post will be taken into account. So what I would recommend doing when you catch your first fish, I would post that after that keep track of your bigger fish you know you, you're going to want to you're not going to want to take a picture of every single fish that you catch you're going to want to take a picture of your biggest one so your first one go ahead and post it if it's you know if it's a decent size we'll look at the sizes here in a second to see what we should probably be posting and then uh after that just keep track of the size of your fish and then take a picture of the next biggest one that you catch so like I said, don't take a picture of every single fish. It'll take too much time. Just take a picture of the biggest fish, the next biggest fish. If you catch one bigger, take a picture, post it, you know, something like that. So during the derby, you can, kept, you can catch epic fish at any level. So normally, since this is an epic fish, normally you, you would have to be level 20 in order to catch an epic fish. However, for this, they're going to go ahead and let you do it at any level. So you don't have to be level 20 to catch this Japanese Ocha Perch. However, you still do need to play in expert mode. And this is a small fish, um, so it's very easy to catch even in expert mode. This is a really good one if you've never fished expert and you're you know worried about fishing in expert mode. This is a good starter fish. It's just a small little fish. There is no fight. Um, you can just reel in and it, it nothing's gonna, it's not gonna be hard. You know, it's gonna be a piece of cake. So don't worry about that you have to fish an expert. I'm going to show you how to find this fish in expert and how to catch it. 
you'll, you'll be able to catch a ton of them. All right, so after that, you're gonna upload a photo taken during the derby period. My last video for the last derby, I did show you how to do a photo and how to upload it. I'm gonna refer you back to that video so I don't have to go through that whole spiel again. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a, uh, a link in the description to take you back to that last video. I'll also do uh, at the very end of this video, if you watch to the end, you can click on the next on the next video and it'll take you back to that last video that I posted that shows you how to do your your photo and upload it to the Facebook page. Multiple people in the same group can upload a, vid a photo if they want to tell us their story as well. And you will need to be playing in multiplayer so that you can do the story because they want a story of your multiplayer team and all that stuff. Um, that's how you're going to get the uh, the big reward to the trip of South Korea. So. The reward must go to the person who uploaded the posts. If you're all in a group, make sure everybody uploads their post, okay? Because um, it's going to go to the person who uploaded their post. So if you want to participate, you do need to upload that post. You can post your entries to the Facebook fan page or our Discord server. After catching the fish, take a picture showing both the length of the fish and the watch time at the same time. So you basically hold your watch up here like that, take a picture. Um, get it nice and close to your face so that you uh, get the time and the date in there. And like I said, that, that last video I did shows you how to take that picture and how to upload it. All right. Uh, you have to upload your in-game username with the photo you decide to use. That was an issue with the last derby. A lot of people weren't adding their username in the post. Make sure you're typing in your username so they know who you are for your in-game so they can match you up to the server. Upload time is from the start of the match until 10 minutes after the end of the match. So you do have a few minutes after the end of the match to go ahead and upload your photos. So if you wanna just take your photos and wait till the very end and upload it, um, you could do that. But as I said at the very beginning, if you have a tie, the person who uploads first is the one who wins that. Uh, when submitting posts, you should include a group selfie with two or more people along with a story about the group and your VR experience. You must participate in multiplayer with at least two people and not necessarily dads. Everyone can join in the fun on this Father's Day. So it doesn't have to just be a dad and their their kid. It could be a group of friends. Um, it's just they want to hear your, your group experience, your VR experience as a group. Um, and trust me, I've played with groups and there's always a lot of fun experiences. So... Individual rankings will not be available for this derby. You will be rewarded prizes based off the ranks of the ranks you fall into, first through hundredth place, etc. You will be disqualified if you behave inappropriately towards others, or if we detect any signs of tampering, manipulation of your photos. So don't try to Photoshop your time on your photos or anything like that. If they, you know, see any signs of tampering, they're going to disqualify you. We are not liable for any disadvantages caused by your lack of awareness of the rules. Please do not publicly harass players you don't think deserve to win. If you feel that's an award just was unjustly given, please contact me via a private message on Facebook or Discord. Failure to ignore this result in disqualifications. You can appeal within 24 hours of the results being announced. All right. So now let's go ahead and get started on how to find this fish, where, where we're going to be going. Um, so... It did say that it's going to be in South Korea 8 and U.S. West free 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, I am going to recommend not doing U.S. West free except for two locations, and that's 3 and 8. And I will show you why here shortly. It has to do with the bait that you're going to be using. Um, there is a fish in the other locations that uses the exact same bait as the... Japanese Ocha Perch, so you're going to be catching a lot of those, as a, and there's a lot of those as opposed to the Perch. So I would stick with South Korea 8, or if you're going to do U.S. West free, locations 3 and 8. Okay, so now let's take a look at the leaderboard, and let's take a look at the fish we're going to be catching here. It's right there, and we're going to see which fish that we want to upload to the post, you know, use for our post. As you can see, 10.235 is the highest. There's uh, four of them that are the same. So if you get a 10.235, you're right up there in the you know the top four. I am at 112th place. I'm at 10.186. So to be in the top 100, you're going to probably be want the 
range um, for the top 100. You're going to be catching a lot of them in the 8s and 9s. So I wouldn't even bother posting those except for at the very end. <laughs> I would stay if you catch a 10, um, go ahead and post that, you know, post at least a, you know, a 10 and you want to post at least one fish so that you get in, you know, you get your bronze shirt, but you're not going to get in the top 100 with a nine. Take this in consideration that there's going to be a lot of people playing this. Uh, this is just normal fishing right now. Um, this is going to be during a tournament. So there's going to be a lot of people catching this fish. So these numbers are going to go, you know, pretty high. So I'm probably going to get knocked out of that 112th place pretty quickly during Father's Day. Yeah, you're going to want to be posting uh, in the tens. So 10.15 and above maybe. Yeah. Start posting those. Um, so now let's go ahead and head out to show you how to catch these fish. I'm going to take you to South Korea 8 and show you how to catch it. And then I'm going to take you to um, US West 1 and show you why I don't recommend all those other locations except for US West 3 and 8. And there is the epic fish that we're going to be catching. And as you can see, it only likes the krill and it is a topwater fish. Now on South Korea 8, there are no other fish that like the krill on the top of the water. As you can see. However, there is one other fish, and I skipped it to the very end. The mandarin fish, which likes the krill, but it is on the bottom. So it's in the middle and the bottom. Sometimes, very rarely, will you catch the mandarin fish on South Korea 8 using this method that I'm going to be showing you. However, I have caught, I caught one out of about 40. So it's pretty rare that you catch it using this method, but you might. Um, it will be in the middle and I have you fishing on the very top. Okay, so you do need to be in expert mode. So if you don't know how to go to expert, Click the little cogwheel down here, the little settings menu there. And if you're on normal or hard, make sure you switch over here to expert. And while we're in here, I'll show you to reset your fish. You start off with 15 fish in the water. Um, you want to switch it to hard and back to expert. And what that does is that gives you 15 fresh new fish. So if you do this method and you don't catch anything, you reset by switching hard back to expert or normal back to expert and you get more 15 more fish. All right. Once you've done that, go ahead and pick up the fishing pole. You're going to push your thumbstick up to the top to make sure that you are on the very top and make sure you're using the krill. As you can see, I have the krill on there. Make sure that you're using that krill. Now what I do is I start off here to the left and I just cast out here and I just work my way across a little bit at a time. About five or six casts out across. All right, you just cast out, and I am using pull B. You can use pull B and uh, any reel that you want. Um, I use pull B because I don't want to cast out farther than 250 feet. There's nothing back. I mean, these fish aren't going to be out at 300 feet, so you do not need to be on a pole that goes out to 300 feet. So I didn't catch anything there. I'm going to go way out. And I'm looking for an instant red line. Another thing that you could be looking for are swirls. Since this is on the top, you can look for swirls. And you're going to be looking for small swirls. If you see a larger swirl, see there's a small swirl right there. Oh, there's a... There's one right there. See how the line turned red instantly? Very small splash. There's no fight. You can just reel all the way in. Just, you know, if you're using two handed, just reel. If you're using one handed, just hold that trigger down. If it starts to turn red, just stop for a second. And there you go. Caught one right there. It's my number 51. I went ahead and caught 50 just so I could have 50 in my tank for this video. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and keep that one. And so that's what I do. I just cast out randomly across and then across again. And now that I've caught one, you can continue to cast out across there just to see if you get another one. I've actually caught 
three on a single reset. That's the most I've ever caught. And nothing. So then to reset, like I said before, all you do is go into your settings, click on hard, back to expert, you get 15 new fish, and you can start over again. Now you see that little swirl that popped up right there? That's about the size you want, or even right here, we got a small swirl there. So if you're going for swirls, let me bring this up here to the swirl, and let's see if that's it. Nope, so that's not it. And I do recommend putting your line color on for this tournament, um, that way, because you're looking for an instant red line. All right, nothing there. There's a smaller swirl right here in front. And this isn't a bad map. I mean, you can, I, I would use this map personally. Because you do have the option of using this or US West free. So uh, if it was me, I would just stick to this map. Because there's not a lot of uh, other fish there. Only that one that likes krill, so. All right, so I didn't get any there. Do a reset, hard expert. And you just, just rinse and repeat. You're just casting out, waiting for just a second. And then retrieving it by pulling your thumbstick back. That quick retrieves it. Now this does use up the durability on your fishing pole. Um, every time you cast out and retrieve it, it uses up a little bit of durability on your fishing pole. So it will kill your fishing pole a lot quicker doing this method. But it's probably one of the quickest ways to, to catch this guy. And didn't get any there. Another method you can do, and I've showed this on many of my other videos, is you can start off here, cast all the way out to 250 feet. Like I said, I'm using pull B because I don't want to go to 300 feet. One, two, three, four, five. You're reeling it in a five count. One, two, three, four, five, a five count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And you just do that. Just counting back to five three times. And this is another method that you can use to try to catch this guy. Personally, I just start off here and I just like I said randomly go across if I don't catch it after one pass over here and then I do the back if I don't catch it after that then I just do a reset hard expert cast it out and eventually you'll get another red line pretty quickly there it is so as you can see I wasted more time doing that other method than I thought I'd just reset it and cast it out there working my way across. So it's, there's a lot, there's a lot of them. So I've caught them on almost every reset. Every once in a while there's one or two resets that I don't catch them on, but almost every reset I've caught at least one. <laughs> Sometimes I'll catch two or three. Um, but yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the US West Free. I'm going to just take you to S1 and show you why I don't want you to use S1, 2, 4, any of those except for 3 and 8. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Fishopedia here and right there, the brook trout. There are a lot of brook trout. And as you can see, the depth is on the top and it uses krill. So if you use that method on US West free, except for locations three and eight, and I'll take you to three. Here you are in location three, we'll pull this up. As you can see, it's not in here. Click on all of those, none of those like the krill. So if you come to three, you'll be doing okay. Nothing on here likes the krill. So if you use three, you'll do pretty good, as well as eight. So three and eight go to eight here. As you can see, 
none of these like the crew. So you'll be doing pretty good on either of these two locations. All the other freshwater locations, so it's one, two, three, four, or one, two, four, seven, eight, nine. All of those have the brook trout. So you do not want to go to any of those locations because you're not going to be catching very many of the uh, the target fish that you're going to be trying to get. So there you go. Um, hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, hopefully you learned something and now you have a plan of attack on how you're going to go out there and try to win that trophy. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Have a good day. Bye-bye.